For 2024, our vision is every member, every church to be involved in some form of evangelism. This is part of it. This uh, Congress has been about training the youth and young adult uh, leaders for mission. Many seminars, many workshops to train them for evangelism. If you really take the time to think about the things that you've learned within those classes, you'd see how applicable they are to your life and how much they help you grow. I actually came to Christ because of this Youth Congress session. It's Ephesians 2 verse 10, it says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. I hope to take back to my church a new mindset, a better me who is more willing and able to help others and to share the gospel with my church. Leadership, specifically in the church context, spiritual leadership has to be taking into consideration the diverse nature of our church. We should serve all people. You lead all people, not just in your little sector or people who look like you or speak like you, or speak the same language as you do, but we should serve all of God's people. So I was recently uh, selected to be the Adventist Youth Leader. Being a youth leader, being in this position, and at this time, a challenging time to, youth, to lead youth, I found that the information that I'm receiving is very imperative and very useful. We are facing many challenges. Right? And there's a lot of competition. We are competing with so many things. And as such, in order for us to be effective leaders, we have to equip ourselves with what is happening, uh, other perspectives, and also to get the knowledge and skills of those who are experts sharing with us. Also to understand the perspectives and views of others, right? I mean, we have. I have made presence from different cultures. What is happening in other cultures? Now we have a global community. I might be in Bermuda, but there might be persons from Haiti, from Jamaica. How do I deal with the cultural diversity? So these are some of the things that we explored in, in some of the seminars. And so you, we are equipped with the knowledge to really go back into our local churches and to serve in a more effective way. The world is a terrible place and God has the answer for every situation. The reason for these preachers is to enrich our youth leaders spiritually. Our goal is that our youth leaders leave here equipped, equipped with the tools necessary to lead in these the closing scenes of Earth's history. Oh, our churches, many of them are crying out for strong leaders, crying out for spiritual leaders, crying out for leaders with the tools necessary to lead this generation. And this Congress would equip our youth and young adults to do what their churches desire. And so in a nutshell, our goal is for our young people to leave here equipped spiritually and equipped with the tools for leadership.